everyone, Kenji here. So this has been a pretty busy week. We've had all our normal stuff going, plus we've had time walking for Cataclysm and a Diablo 4 event going on in game called the Greedy Emissary. I've managed to add a few more characters to my level 70 roster this time around through time walking, and with a few days left I may get another one or two done. But besides that, I did get into my weekly farms, even though I did miss doing Siege of Olgamar this time around. So let's take a look at them. Well, since I did miss out on doing Siege of Olgamar this round of farming, the first thing I did was Antorus the Burning Throne. I'm after the Scythe of Zeon Maker out of there, the red version, so I have to do it on Mythic. So I headed over there, worked my way back to Argus the Maker, took him out. I still didn't have any luck getting it, so it looks like I'll be back here next week. So striking out in Antorus, I pushed on to Nighthold. I have to do this one on Mythic also. I'm after the Hellfire Inferno, the red version. So I headed over to Nighthold, worked my way back to Gold'an, took him out, and got attempt number 51 on this mount. But luck wasn't with me and I didn't see it drop again this week either. So I'll be back here at least one more week. After striking out in my first two raids, I headed over to Aldir. I'm farming the head of Mimron out of here, so on my way up there like normal, I look for the time lost Proto Drake. I didn't see him, so I headed inside, worked my way back to Yogg Saron, and got attempt number 46 on the Mount Mimron's head. Again, I didn't see this one drop this week, so I'll be back here next week and hope my luck is better. Well, with all my raids done, this is where I normally would head to Freehold. But I was going to do that on my multi-character farm this week, so I started off by going to King's Rest. Here I'm farming up the Mummified Raptor, so I set it to Mythic, worked my way back to the end boss, took him down, and got attempt number 44 on the Mummified Raptor. I didn't have any luck on this one either this week, so we'll have to do this one more week. Up next I headed to the Underrot. There I'm farming the Underrot Krog. So once I got there, I headed in, I worked my way back to the end boss, I took him out, and I got attempt to number 16 on the Mount under Rat Krog. I didn't see this one drop this week either, so of course I'll be back here next week, and hope my luck is a little better. So the last mythic 5-man solo farm I was doing is Necrotic Wake for a chance at the Mount Marofang. So I headed over to Shadowlands and made my way to the Necrotic Wake. I worked my way back, killed the end boss, got attempt number 2 on the Mount Marofang. I didn't see this one drop, but my attempts are really low in here, so I figured it'd be a while before I see him. But who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and he'll drop a lot sooner than I expect. The last thing I had to do was my multi-character farm. I normally do this with 13 characters, one of each class. But I don't have everyone to 70 yet, so I'm just going to take 13 characters that are level 70. It doesn't matter what class they are. But since I finished up the Pandaren World bosses, I figured I'd start doing the 5 mans. And the one I chose to do this time around was Freehold. So let's take a look at it, and I'll see you on the other side. Well, that's another shock. Three weeks in a row I have received a mount from a drop. And I gotta say, this is a pretty awesome mount to get. It's one of the mounts out of all the mounts I've been farming that I was kind of looking forward to getting, so I'm pretty happy with this. And just in case you're wondering, this week my transmog set is the Warlords of Draenor Season 2 PvP set. This comes in two versions. The first version is your Wild Combatants Plate Armor, which is on the left. And the second version is your Wild Gladiators Plate Armor, which is on the right. These are really easy to get, all you have to do is have Marks of Honor. Once you have them, you're going to travel to Draenor and head over to Ashrand. You're going to look for a vendor named Amelia Clark, and she will sell them to you. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, you can give it a thumbs up, you can click on subscribe. Thanks for coming by and watching it. I'm going to send a hi out to my best friend, and you all take care.